I suppose that's all we can do. Good morning. Good morning. Fat Magul ran away. So tell me why you notified Selim about it. Meltem, did you get my voice messages? I want to know what is happening. I want to know the reason why you're so interested in that girl so much. It is Karim that has asked for Munir's help. And they interfered to help him out with everything going on. This morning he called me. He had a fight with her and she ran away. Why is he calling you? Uh, he wanted to ask him if he has to call the police or not. Yeah. Well, I will order breakfast for us. Okay, sounds good. If you had asked me instead of spying into my messages, you would know the truth without being ridiculous. Don't say that. Stop it. I'm so bored. I wonder where the princess is while we're all being sad. Enough, Mukadis. Enough. Don't you talk about her. What do you mean? If you would support her, then things would be so different. You left her alone even from the very first day of the tragic incident. Don't you yell at me. You're crazy. Was it that hard to welcome her with open arms? I think you'd better mind your own business. You didn't embrace her at all. You only kicked her when she was down. It wasn't me who kicked her to the ground. Don't blame it on me. True. And that's why I cannot do anything. And why I cannot deal with you either. I am also involved in this dirty business. It's nice to see that you know it. And I couldn't help Fatma Ghul. I couldn't prevent her from getting hurt any more than she was. I didn't help her. And I didn't stand against you at all. I did not convince Fatma Ghul that she'd done nothing wrong. If this is how you keep silent, I'm thinking we're all dead. Well, let me tell you this. If Fatma Ghul does anything to hurt herself, I will never forgive you. Then don't forgive Karem. He is the reason why we are here. Instead of chattering, why not pray for me? If I didn't arrange for us to be here, he would be in jail or in a grave. Karem's here. Karem is here. So then, did you check the terminal? Yeah, I did. You should check the buses to Izmir. Yes, to Izmir. She only knows to go there. I did. I searched in all the travel agencies. Maybe she traveled by a plane. Would she have had enough money to do that then? We called Emre's girlfriend and she didn't know either. She wasn't answering his calls, so he called her through Fatma Gul's cell phone. That is why she had her number. And she knows no one else in Istanbul, so we hoped, but all in vain. She didn't call us who. How do you know? If she was with that girl, would she tell us? Maybe he's right. She told her not to speak. We'd better call her again. We called her through my phone here. A and I know I saved her number. Don't say anything. Uh, you call, but let Rami talk. 